Remains in shock after an 85-year-old woman was attacked and killed by an alligator. Imagine walking your dog beside a serene lake in Florida when suddenly an alligator twice your size attacks your beloved pet. What would you do? The matchup between the 11-foot alligator and her little dog was not a fair fight. But this old lady stepped in to save her best friend. What happens next will shock you. This story shows the love between humans and pets and how wild things get in a place like Florida. This story will leave you asking many questions. How did the alligator get into the retirement community? What would you have done if you found yourself in this old woman's situation? The events you were about to watch are disturbing, but they show that heroes come in all forms. That afternoon in February, Gloria Surge, an 85-year-old lady living in the Spanish Lakes Fairways community, was gruesomely attacked by this massive 700-pound alligator. She had the chance to save herself, but she did not instead. Good old Gloria threw herself between the alligator and her little canine friend. Her heart was large and strong, but her body was too frail to be any match for this reptilian beast. But the old lady made sure her sacrifice was not a waste. She protected her pooch to the very end. But this is not the full story. Before we get into the details of Gloria's encounter with his predator, you'll agree that dogs have saved human lives too many times to count. It's interesting how humans have formed a bond with dogs, so much so that they've been dubbed as man's best friend. It is a friendship that has made humans jump to save their little friends, often without thinking twice about it. The internet is filled with videos of dogs jumping in to save humans from danger. They will protect without even thinking of their safety, even if the aggressor was a bear. Now you will never believe how far humans will go and how far Gloria went for her dearest pet. Guess what? Humans have been doing the same too, even when it meant boxing a seven-foot kangaroo to save a pooch. It's hard to think about Florida and not think about the alligators there. You would never guess that the official state animal for Florida is actually the panther. That is how much alligators have dominated the wildlife here. Talking of dominance, they have the numbers on their side too. 1.3 million of these creatures are estimated to live around the waters of the state. These prehistoric predators, descendants of dinosaurs, inhabit the Sunshine State's waterways, turning serene swamps and tranquil lakes into potential spots of danger. I mean, things can change very quickly out here. You could be standing by a seemingly calm lake, admiring the view in peace, and the next second... You're fighting for your life with a gator trying to pull you to the bottom of the pond. In one such encounter, a group of unsuspecting picnickers found themselves face to face with a formidable alligator during a seemingly idyllic lakeside lunch. This unexpected guest, with its primal gaze and stealthy approach, transformed a leisurely day into a heart-pounding adventure. <laughs> And how about the gators that have obtained celebrity status? Talk about Chubbs and the alligator that looks like it escaped from Jurassic Park. Chubbs went viral when a video of this 14-foot gator crossing a golf course hit the internet. The footage is so astonishing that to date, many still do not believe it is real. But Chubbs is as real as every golfer that plays on that golf course. But what is most shocking about alligators are not the powerful bites or the impressive size. You'll be scared silly when you discover how fast these reptiles are. One second, they're in the water, and before you can blink, they're out and sprinting towards you. It is this incredible speed that caught Gloria off guard. By the time Gloria saw the alligator trying to grab her little dog, it was too late. It was too close, and there was no way she should have outran the gator. 
This sluggish-looking reptile can move at an incredible speed of 18 miles per hour on land. This is the same speed a human can run at. But Gloria was not in top physical form. The old lady could barely walk, talk less of running. She was practically a sitting duck in this case. The time it took Gloria to walk just about four steps. I don't want to go close. Oh, oh my god. <gasps> okay. Was enough for this massive gator to swim across the hundred foot pond and launch itself at the dog. It was very fast. What happens next will shock you. Experts warn that you must never walk your dog by any body of water where there could be gators or crocs. This is a sure invitation for these beasts to lunge out of the water to grab your dog, so keep away from the water side. Before the gator attack on Gloria Surge in Florida, we experienced a very similar incident in South Carolina. The woman in this case was also an old retiree. She was 82-year-old Elsie Kyle, and the incident happened around her home in Hilton Head Island. She had gone for a walk with her dachshund hybrid dog near the pond close to her house. Elsie knew very well that this was alligator country, but she did not take precautions. She had lived here a long time, and she could not imagine she would be attacked. Just like in Gloria Surge's case, Elsie did not know an alligator was watching her closely and inching closer for the kill. These reptiles are some of the most successful predators that have ever existed on Earth. They have been around and unchanged for millions of years. They are the masters of stealth. Elsie will find out the hard way not to underestimate them. She never saw the attack coming. It was lightning quick. In an instant, she felt something grab her legs and she fell to the ground. At first, she was confused. She did not know what grabbed her leg, but then she saw it. An eight-foot alligator. A pretty large gator in its own right easily dwarfs Elsie in size. Yes, it was just an average-sized gator, but even these medium-sized ones are stronger than most humans. Even men in peak physical condition can be dragged underwater by this little bad boy. She said she had a massive adrenaline rush, which made her not even feel any pain. Even though she heard her bones crack when the alligator snapped down on her legs, she felt nothing. All she wanted to do was fight for her life. And boy, did she give the beast the fight of its life. The crocodilian family, including alligators, have the strongest bite in nature. An adult alligator boasts a bite force that can exceed 3,000 pounds per square inch. To put that into perspective, it's like having a small car exerting pressure on a surface the size of a postage stamp. This remarkable force is not just a product of muscle strength, it's a result of anatomical perfection. The alligator's jaw muscles are designed for quick, powerful snaps, allowing them to ambush prey with deadly precision. Their bite force is not only impressive in its peak strength, but also in its sustained grip. Once those jaws clamp down, escaping becomes almost impossible. It would take a miracle for this 82-year-old lady to get out of the grip of this beast. What was she going to do? Did she have any chance of survival? The structure of their skull and jaw muscles creates a vice-like grip, making it exceptionally challenging for anything caught in their jaws to break free. The alligator's bite is more than a crushing force. It's a bone-crushing machine. The conical shape of their teeth, coupled with the relentless pressure of their bite, enables these reptiles to penetrate tough hides, shells, and yes, bones. Alligators are known to consume their prey whole, bones and all, leaving little trace of their prey. It would take nothing for this gator to snap poor Elsie's legs off. She was running out of time, and she knew she had to do something. Elsie managed to compose herself enough to reach her hands to the alligator's cold eyes. This 
was the only thing she could do against the beast that was about to turn her into a quick snack. With all her strength, which, by the way, was not much left, she pressed the gator's eyes. Survival experts advise that this is the most effective way of getting away from crocodilians when they have hold of you. Beating them on the head or body will do absolutely nothing. These reptiles are tough. They're designed to kill prey that weigh a lot more than humans. They can grab buffaloes and zebras, take a lot of kicks from these powerful animals, and not feel anything. So, it is a waste punching a gator that will be like you're giving it a soft massage. Elsie was lucky to know the right thing to do, but will that be enough to save her? Sorry. Realizing it could lose its prey, the gator shifted to the next strategy, the death roll. When a strategy is called the death roll, you know that things are about to get serious, and indeed they did. The death roll is the gator's finisher move. The gator will vigorously roll itself like a maniac, turning aggressively over and over and over again. Once it starts doing this, its prey will be tossed around like a rag doll. It's very difficult to fight a gator doing this role. Experts will advise that you try your best to get away before the gator initiates the death roll, but Elsie could not. It was too late. Was there any hope left for this old pensioner? All this while, the old lady was screaming at the top of her voice. Luckily, her neighbors Mary Montour and Lane Carver heard her cry for help, and they were quick to jump into action. Mrs. Montour rushed to pull Elsie's hands. She thought Elsie only fell and was sliding into the water. At first, she did not notice the eight-foot reptile biting down her neighbor's legs. But Elsie kept screaming that there was a gator biting down her legs. Mrs. Montour was not going to let go. It was now a tug-of-war between Mrs. Montour and the alligator, and Mrs. Elsie hung between the two. Fortunately, Mr. Carver had found a spade. With all the strength he could muster, he rushed into the fight and swung the spade at the gator's head several times. Recalling the incident, Mr. Carter admits that the alligator had Mrs. Elsie pretty well. This 11 foot alligator taped its mouth shut. Water. Experts warn that alligator. He knew he had to knock the alligator out if Mrs. Elsie was to have a chance. Outnumbered against three humans and receiving a good bashing on the head from the determined Mr. Carver, the gator knew it could not win this fight, so it gave up and released Mrs. Elsie. The old lady was bleeding seriously from the huge gash the gator had left in her legs. The injury was so bad that the surgeon thought they would have to remove her two legs, but Elsie managed to make a full recovery. Glorious Surge would not be so lucky. What happens to her would shock you. That Monday afternoon, as she took a walk with her beloved four-legged companion trooper, she had no idea they were being watched by this giant alligator that was looking for its next meal. The alligator allowed her to move close to the water's edge, carefully biding its time before it struck. Unlike the previous case of Elsie, this alligator was much larger, and unlike the previous case, there was no one close by to run to the aid of Gloria. Gloria was a beloved member of this community, and everyone knew her and the little dog Trooper. The friendship of Gloria and Trooper was stronger than the friendship Gloria had with any other person in this community. Spanish Lakes, where Gloria lived, is a Floridian retirement complex with several houses for the elderly. The aim was to provide an atmosphere that puts the residents close to nature. To achieve this, the community was located around several lakes, a big mistake they never considered. This is Florida, and in Florida, any body of water is a potential alligator hazard. On this property, there were not one or two lakes, but an astonishing 24 lakes. Gloria moved to this community after her husband died, so she would have the companionship of other people instead of living in isolation. It was Trooper that filled this void for her, and Trooper was always with Gloria to keep her happy. 
Gloria's favorite part of the day is going on a walk with her little friend around the property. They've been going on this routine for a long time and never had an alligator scare before. It was therefore a surprise on this day when this huge alligator showed up from nowhere. But this is the case with Florida. People have found alligators even in private swimming pools. What happened that afternoon was bound to happen. It was only a matter of time. Now prepare for what comes next. Glory was already tired and would have ended the walk at that point, but Trooper was still up for more. She took a few seconds to catch her breath and then proceeded with the walk. Trooper was very happy to be outside and was exploring the pond side as far as the leash would allow him. The temptation was too much for the alligator. It had already quietly moved closer to the duo and was well positioned for the grab at this point. If you pay attention to the attack, you will see that the gator had no interest in the old woman. All it wanted was the dog, but Gloria was not going to let the reptile take her best friend away. Gloria immediately pulled as hard as she could on the leash. Unfortunately, Gloria was too frail for the physical demands of reacting to the situation. While pulling Trooper away from the jaws of death, Gloria slipped and fell to the ground. This was the moment the gator shifted its attention to her. It realized she would be an easy pick and grabbed her instead. Trooper was not having any of it and stood by Gloria, barking as hard as he could, but the little terrier was no match for the 700-pound beast. All it could do was bark as the alligator dragged the old pensioner into the pond. Gloria screamed and waved her hands, hoping someone was out there that saw what just happened. The whole thing happened really fast, and within seconds, the gator was already dragging her into the murky water. Trooper tried his best to scare the giant reptile with his barks, but the gator ignored the little dog. It was dead focused on Gloria. There was absolutely nothing she could do to fight back, and it was very easy for the gator to drag her underwater where it proceeded to execute the deadly death roll, thrashing Gloria about. While all this happened, someone was across the lawn and witnessed the gator grab Gloria. 76-year-old Carol Thomas, who lives near Gloria, froze, scared by what she just witnessed. She ran as fast as she could to get to the phone and dialed 911. She was so terrified by what she witnessed that she was screaming when the operator picked up the call. Knowing it would be too late by the time the emergency responders arrived, Carol decided to act and not just wait. She grabbed a metal pole and rushed to the pond. Gloria was partially submerged, and Carol reached the pole to her, yelling to Gloria to grab the pole. Gloria was not responding. She was dead still, but something was tugging at her body below the water. The alligator was out of sight, but it was still trying to pull her body under the water. Sadly, it was too late. Gloria couldn't be saved. The alligator took her away, leaving Carol to watch the body disappear under the water. Soon, the scene was crowded with emergency responders and members of the retirement community. They were all shocked to learn what happened to Gloria. What surprised them most was how such a large gator managed to live in the pond without anyone ever seeing it. The body of Gloria was retrieved, but the alligator, sensing danger, had disappeared at this point. It's as if he was never at the scene. The Beaufort County Sheriff's Office said when they arrived the alligator was still beside the body and was attempting to get rid of her body. She had suffered numerous bites to her body, but the moment the body was retrieved, the alligator gave up and disappeared under the water. Among the responders was a trapper from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, Frank Robb. His task was to track and capture the beast, but it seemed the alligator knew this was the plan and it tried its best to stay away from the surface of the water. But Frank was not going to let the gator get away. 
Hooks were used for fish for the reptile at the bottom of the pond. After securing two hooks into the gator, they were able to drag it out of the water and take it away to be euthanized. Next was to scan the entire community for other reptiles that could be lurking in the shadows. Their effort paid off as more alligators were discovered. The story of Glorious Surge is one about a human who shows absolute loyalty and love to her pet. She sacrificed herself to save her little dog. We're sure Trooper would have done the same for Gloria if it could. In the aftermath of the tragic demise of Gloria Surge, her little companion Trooper has found a new home with Gloria's family. This is not the only time alligators have been discovered within a community where people never expected them to be. In June of 2016, around the Disney grounds in Florida, a two-year-old boy, Lane Graves, became a victim in a situation that was similar to that of Gloria. The boy and his family had come to a movie night outdoors at the Grand Floridian Resort. The time was about 9 p.m. when the boy somehow left the company of his family and walked into about one foot of the lagoon. That was when the gator grabbed his leg and dragged him further into the water. His dad saw what happened and jumped into the water to save his son. He did not think about his safety as he grabbed the snout of the alligator, trying hard to pry it open. Gator. You can see him trying to pry the gator's mouth open with his bare hands as the dog yelped. But there was absolutely no way anyone would be able to force the mouth of an alligator that is shut to open. Their bite force is incredibly strong. Opening the jaws will be like lifting a truck off the ground. That is how strong the bite of gators can be. The boy's mother also tried to help, also ignoring her own safety. But as much as they tried, the gator refused to let go. It succeeded in pulling the boy deep into the water. The boy was lost, and there was nothing anyone could do to save him. The next day, Disney had to shut down all the beach resorts in the area, fearing that another attack could happen. An extensive search ensued, and by the end of the search, hundreds of gators were discovered in the area and relocated. The problem with Florida is not the existence of the gators, but the attitude of the people of Florida. The case of Lane Graves reveals this attitude of not taking danger seriously. At Disney, they knew these dangerous reptiles were there, but Disney never saw a reason to put notices on the site to warn people of the danger. Not a single warning sign was at the resort. The Graves family were from Nebraska, and they were not prepared for this sort of danger. Right now, something is happening in Florida, and people are not talking enough about it. Alligator attacks are on the rise. And so are the death tolls. Gator attacks were ridiculously high in 2023, with the death of Glorious Surge coming early in February, and many more followed within weeks from each other. There was a time when two people got attacked within a week in separate incidents, but in the same place. This is how frequent it is getting. The story I'm about to share with you is one that will surprise you. First, on November 1st, a 79-year-old man had a run-in with an alligator while snorkeling at Alexander Springs in Lake County. He was lucky that he only ended up with minor injuries to his head and hand. The man had been snorkeling in the area, despite knowing there could be gators around. Just four days later, a 20-year-old woman also got a bite on her head while snorkeling in this same area. There is a pattern that can be observed in these attacks, and this discovery is very scary. On close examination, not only are gator attacks getting more frequent and deadly, but we can easily see that the victims are those who are elderly. This is how predators act. They would target prey they think would not give a fight. This is why the gator that killed Gloria first aimed for her little dog before it turned its jaws on Gloria. Old people make up the bulk of the victims, 
because they are unable to put up a fight when they are attacked. Aí outro ali, ó. Opa! Take a look at the horrifying case of Holly Jenkins. This happened at Hilton Head Island in Southern Carolina. What made the incident even more disturbing was the fact that this was an upscale area of Beaufort County. You would not expect to hear news of wild animal attacks in posh neighborhoods such as this, but that was exactly what happened here in July of 2023. Now get ready for what is coming next. For a long time, there was no gator attack on humans in South Carolina until 2022 when something sparked a return of human and gator encounters that led to the deaths of two people. This was a sign of the tragedies that were to follow, but it would be the case of Holly Jenkins that got people more interested in what was going on. Holly was a 69-year-old retiree living in this area. It was Independence Day and she had taken her dog for a walk, but her family became worried when the dog returned home, but Holly was nowhere to be found. It is a case that started as a mysterious one, but the mystery would not last very long, because around 9.30, someone stumbled on a body that turned out to be Holly Jenkins. Close investigation of what happened to Jenkins. She was attacked by an alligator, and unfortunately, she did not survive the encounter. When the emergency responders got to the site of the tragedy, the gator responsible for her death was standing guard over her body and would not allow them to access it. In this case, they had to remove the aggressive gator before they could ever recover Holly's body. This was the second death in under six months in the area. This gator was about 10 feet long and weighed about 600 pounds. This was a really large gator. We do not know what led to the attack, but the usual elements were there. A pet was involved, and Holly had ventured too close to a water of body. We don't know what happened exactly, but we can imagine the scenario must have been similar to that of the other ladies and their pet dogs. We're not done yet. There are more stories that expose how real this danger is. The incidents of humans ending up as dinner for alligators may be more common than we imagine. These reptiles could be responsible for several lost people who were never found. This is proven by the story of Sabrina Peckham. She was a homeless woman who got eaten by a gator, but we almost did not know what happened to her. The lifeless body of Miss Peckham was discovered on Friday in a canal in Largo, and the unsettling discovery took a more chilling turn as authorities were forced to confront a 13-foot alligator. carrying her remains in its formidable jaws. The harrowing encounter unfolded when Jamarcus Bullard, on his way to a job interview, stumbled upon the giant gator. He had initially thought the alligator was holding a mannequin in its mouth. All that was left was the torso of this woman, so Jamarcus found it hard to accept that the gator had killed someone and was already devouring the body. On further study, he realized that the situation of Miss Peckham was a serious one. It was a troubling experience because it happened right by the road curb. A school was nearby, and the kids took that road. It made Jamarcus wonder if any of the kids had witnessed what happened. It would have left that kid with bad memories. Initially, the identity of this body was unknown until forensics were carried out. That's when it was discovered that the victim was Sabrina Peckham. Her daughter, Breonna Doris, revealed it was a deeply felt loss for the family. She disclosed that her mother, Sabrina Peckham, was homeless and residing in a wooded area near the fatal encounter. Addressing misconceptions circulating on social media, Doris clarified that her mother did not provoke the alligator, countering speculations about taunting. When dealing with wildlife or you are in their area, it's important to be extra careful. You never know what is lurking in the waters. 
These animals are sneaky and quick and will spring a surprise when there is a need. It's been a wild ride exploring the toothy tales of gator encounters. If you want to learn more about dangerous situations like this, hit subscribe and let's keep this adventure rolling.